Good afternoon. Uh, Good afternoon. It's great to uh, to be here with you today, uh, Dr. Diaz, uh, yes, Executive Secretary of the of the CBD, uh, at the occasion of Rio Plus Twenty. And uh, we want to ask you just a few questions uh, uh, to help us sort of put this into context today, what we're experiencing. Sure. Um, we need to understand better why is it important to focus on urbanization, biodiversity, and ecosystems. Could you, could you shed some light on that for us? Sure. First of all, uh, we need to realize that uh, how much we depend on biodiversity for our, our li livelihoods. So biodiversity is the source of the food, the, the quality of the food that we eat, uh, the source for medicines, the source of uh, uh, clean water, uh, uh, the source for oxygen, uh, and so, so many things. So uh, uh, we are quite dependent on this, but now most of the people live in cities and they don't know exactly where the food comes from, where the medicines comes from. So we, we are disconnecting ourselves. Uh, from uh, uh, nature, and and we we need to to establish reestablish that that connection. And uh, cities are the main consumers of biodiversity. Mm -hmm. And now, since most of the population lives in city, and this uh, uh, urbanization process will continue very strongly for the next decade, uh, this implies a, a greater impact on biodiversity. Uh, but it also uh, uh, provides us a, an opportunity. So cities are uh, centers of culture and, and there's opportunity to uh, promote uh, a, a new paradigm with the people, how they relate to, to nature. So we need to change uh, uh, the way that the cities are structured. Uh, uh, cities need to be more friendly to environment. So for example, uh, uh, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, to have more green space so that the water Water can percolate to the soil, uh, uh, and we have uh, green corridors uh, so that uh, the wildlife can uh, be uh, uh, a part of the city, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can benefit from uh, biodiversity inside the city. And at the same time, the cities need to be responsible in terms of their consumption. So we need a, a responsible consumption from city uh, 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 dwellers, uh, so from the government, from the private sectors, and from the citizens themselves. So uh, uh, our uh, ecological fr footprint that uh, uh, impacts not only the biodiversity inside the city but in the whole landscape surrounding the cities and sometimes sometimes very far away. So people need to be more uh, uh, engaged in, in, in this. And since most of the decision uh, uh, regarding the fate of biodiversity is taken at local level, we need, really need to engage the cities and their citizens uh, into this. Otherwise, we will not meet uh, uh, the targets that all the countries have uh, agreed on in uh, Nagoya in 2020, in, in 2010, to reach important targets uh, in this decade by 2020. Unless we have this stronger commitments from the cities, we, we will fail to reach those targets. Well, you're, you're talking about engagement now, and you're also talking uh, about the opportunities that cities represent. And we heard today from Dr. Elmquist from the Stockholm Resilience Center about how uh, the city biodiversity outlook might help us better understand some of these things. Would you care to comment on how the CBO, or the city biodiversity's outlook, uh, relates to or is important to the Convention on Biological Diversity? Very much so. The, the CBD has launched now for its uh, third version of a global biodiversity outlook report that takes uh, uh, the global picture of biodiversity uh, 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 um, globally but uh, the cities uh, were not highlighted so far so the CBO uh, fills that gap and it provides specific information of what's going on in the cities it will be two volumes the first one uh, provides information on what can be done what are the lessons learned there are many solutions and I think that that's the good message that we have to uh, promote so it, it, uh, it should, we should not promote a doomsday the uh, message right. that all is all is lost. There's nothing we can do. On the contrary, there's quite a lot we can do to reverse the situation. But we need engagement, mm -hmm. and and the CBO will help providing a, a number of uh, 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 experiences, real experiences on how this can be done. And so we need uh, to share more experiences among the cities to enhance this process. And so. Uh 
What are your hopes then, given given uh, that uh, nice explanation of how this links in, the CBO links into CBD, what are your hopes or, or aspirations for how the City Bio, uh, Biodiversity Outlook might actually be applied? What, what, what are your dreams and aspirations, if you will, in, in a perfect world if there was such a thing? Right. No, I'm a dreamer. Uh, if I wasn't, uh, I would not have accepted this job as the Executive Secretary of the Convention because the challenges are very big. Yes. But I'm a believer that uh, we can do better. But of course, we need uh, uh, partnerships. Uh, we cannot do this uh, alone, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, what I hope to see with uh, uh, the CBO and, and, and the initiatives that uh, we are promoting, partnership with ECLE, with the Stockholm uh, Resilient Institute, and, and other good partners, is really to get more uh, cities engaged in this process, right? To show that they can make a difference, they can change the, the path. Uh, of unsustainability that uh, they are in, they can uh, change the business as usual, uh, which uh, will lead us to disaster, and uh, really build uh, uh, more sustainable, healthy cities, more efficient uh, with less cost, and provide a, a much uh, healthier environment for their citizens. Well, Dr. Diaz, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you for the important work you're doing here and, and around this area for Rio Plus 20, and we look forward to seeing uh, the, the results of this work. Thank you thank so much. Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Okay.